Hey guys, Max here and welcome back to another video on Hypixel Skyblock. Today we have an amazing episode, but before we get into it, I just want to say a couple of things. First of all, the support on the channel has been insane. My video which I posted yesterday has around 4k views, so I just want to say a big thank you to everyone who's been watching my videos and subscribing to the channel. If you aren't subscribed already, it would mean the world to me if you hit that sub button down below. I'm going to be bringing you guys daily high pixel skyblock content but without further ado let's get into the video today guys in this video we are going to be showing off a bow which no one has been talking about literally no one i've seen no videos about this and i honestly think it's pretty op and it could do a ton of damage to pretty much any mob in the game i would definitely say investing into this bow may be a good option since its ability is absolutely insane make sure you guys watch this episode because i'll be showing you how to get this underrated bow and telling you why you should grind for it so before you are able to get your hands on this bow you will need to get combat level 12 and if you aren't combat level 12 i would definitely just say go over to the obsidian sanctuary because they give a decent amount of combat XP. But once you guys are level 12, you want to make your way over to the end over here. This is the area where you guys can actually get your hands on the endstone bow. You want to make your way over to the dragon's nest. So let's jump down here. And you might take a bit of full damage. So make sure you guys don't have any money on you. So uh, yeah, we're just going to heal up quickly. You want to make your way over to the dragon's nest. And as we are here now... You want to actually look for a mob called the Watcher. These mobs are currently level 55 and they have around 9,500 health. One thing which is pretty annoying about these guys is that when they shoot you with an arrow, there's a chance where Endermite will spawn and these little guys could be the reason why you lose like 1 million coins. So make sure you guys don't have any money on you when you're fighting these things. The way you guys can get your hands on the endstone bow is pretty much the same way as you can get ender armor but it's just a different mob. It is a rare drop so it shouldn't take too long to get your hands on this bow. You guys might need some strength potions depending on what sword you have but you guys could probably kill these things with a couple of hits and if you are lucky you should get the bow it's probably gonna take you guys an hour or two of grinding to get your hands on this bow it's actually kind of cool you know i am being recognized a lot more on the server it's just kind of weird because i didn't think that i would get noticed i guess you're in the video now but anyways guys in the next clip we are actually going to be showing off the endstone bow's ability and how much damage it does to Enderman. I think you guys are really curious about that. So let's get into it. We have actually been able to get our hands on two Endstone bows, guys. Right now, the one in my inventory is plain. As you can all see, the damage of this thing is 140. This item ability is called Extreme Focus. And it says here, consumes all your mana and your next hit will deal that much more damage. So I'm guessing it will deal quite a bit of damage. I'm not too sure. But right now we're going to be testing it out over here. As you guys can see, I do have a maxed out endstone bow with rapid. And as you guys can see, the rapid reforge does add strength and it does add the crit damage as well. So we're going to be doing a lot more damage than usual. We're actually going to see how much damage we do with this bow. Alright guys, we're going to go down here. Oh! Oh, oh my god, no way. Someone else is gonna kill that. Are you serious, bro? Oh my god. I am so unlucky. This guy wants a screenie, so we're gonna give him a screenie. But yeah, 20k to go. Yeah, man. 20k more subs until we hit the YT rank. I don't think I'll ever hit it because people say I sound like Morgs. So uh, yeah, that's kind of unlucky, but yo. So right now, guys, we're going to see how much damage we can do with our maxed out endstone bow. And I'm really excited because I haven't actually tested this out yet. But let's see how much damage we do. And we did 2k, guys. We did 2k with this bow. As you guys can see right there, we did 2k damage. And honestly, this is actually pretty good for this bow. It's literally kind of easy to get. But there we go, guys. Literally 2k. I'm going to whip out my runins right now. And see how much damage we can do with that. And wait, where is my runins? <laughs> I don't know where it is. I found my runins, bro. 
I actually thought I lost it. But right now, we're going to see how much damage we can do with the Runan's bow. And guys, we do 3k damage with the Runan's bow. And we do 2k damage with the Endstone bow. So, I actually think this is pretty good. Because basically, um, I don't even think I used the ability as well. Let's actually see. Did we use the ability? No, we didn't. We're going to see if we can get the ability to proc to actually see how much damage we can do. So I'm going to go to like a little area where we can get some high ground on these mobs. Oh, wait. How did I, wait, how did I proc the ability? Do I have to like, okay, I proc the ability, guys. So now we can see how much damage we can do. So apparently my next shot will do a lot of damage. So let's shoot right now. Let's see how much damage it does. It did 2.2k. Alright. So it didn't even do too much. But it did a little bit more damage than usual. I just realized that with more mana. I will do more damage. So to make this bow really really good. You guys want to get yourself a set with a lot of mana. Like the crystal set. The crystal set is actually pretty good. You can get over a thousand mana. But with this bow. With the item ability, it drains all your mana and it saves it for the next shot. So if we go over here, it says use extreme focus. Your next shot with this bow will deal plus 181 more damage. So the more mana I have, the more damage I will do with this bow. And I honestly think this could be super, super good. If you guys are new to the server and you want to get yourself a bow, I would definitely say Go for the endstone bow. It doesn't require too much work to get besides just hitting the mobs. And, you know, it's kind of easier to get than Runon's and the hurricane bow. But if you guys think about it, the Runon's bow actually does 3k damage. And this bow over here does 2k. So it's actually still pretty good for a bow. But, yo, let me know what you guys think down below. Do you think... The endstone bow is good. Do you think the endstone bow is bad? And let me know why. I'll be looking forward to seeing what you guys think. And I'll also be replying to you guys down below. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. And if you did, make sure to leave a like. And also, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. Because we are on the road to 11k subscribers. But yeah guys, have an amazing day. And I'll see you all in the next video. Peace. Roll, roll, roll to the ships, even though I shouldn't. AMDA next up, new wave, new pace. Man, I'm proofing the pudding. Flip that, all the feds ain't looking. Jump in a lab with a beat, then build up a spliff, then get to the cook.